Right, I'm back. What we're going to make now is the um, walking sticks and the caddy. And what I use for mine is a button, a thimble. This is the, the pot one. Now, I've given lots of these out in um, kits, but any thimble will do. Some little, they're the bits I cut off from the skewers. A um, little bit of leather. It doesn't have to be leather. It can be a little bit of black material, black card, whatever you want to do. Some little things for the ends. We can have some posh ones and some beaded ones, you know, for the handles. Uh, and we need a little bit of wire, which I'm just going to get hold of. Uh, I'm just going to use the brown wire. This brown wire. We get the ends let me see if we can get the right yeah that's it so I'm just going to cut a chunk of that off I'm doing that fairly straight now if you've got soft wire like this I don't know what the gauge is I can't remember um what you can do is just flatten the end like that okay because that is going to stick in the end of your uh, stick now again we must separate the end so we're going to put a split in it do be careful and we just try and split that a little bit just rock it side to side take charge of the stick and the there see I've done that um, and we're just going to cut a piece of this off And we pop the flattened bit inside like that okay like that now again I think this time I'm gonna glue mine in I think let me let me just see if I can do that uh, and stick that in Wandle that about, which will seal it. Like that. And then what you do is, you take your round nose pliers and you make your handle. Like that. And then you snip that off. And you can also flatten the end out if you want. Like that. And that is kind of like your walking stick. Now all we need to do is to just sharpen the end a little bit. Just take it off. Just so it's smaller. Because walking sticks are smaller at the end. So you shave that off. Like that. Then I'm going to use a little bit of this leather and you only need a small piece so I've got my piece of leather I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there and just wrap the end of that like that I've got silver all over my hands, so I'm going to end up getting that everywhere. But that doesn't matter about the end of this. I should really go and wash my hands. That's it. So that's the end of the walking stick. Um, and then what we can do is just paint this. These are so quick and easy to do. I mean, they're not as neat as what they would be if I was doing them to sell or whatever. I'm just doing these quickly as a tutorial so you can go run along and do it yourself. Get on with it. <laughs> do as you're told. I'm only kidding. But, you know, don't please sit there and say, I can't do it because you don't know. You don't know until you try. And personally, myself... Anyone can do them because there's nothing hard about them. So 
Okay, dokie. So that's that one. Um, now, like I said, I did have these emblems that I can put on. Um, and if that's the handle going down, then you want the emblem to stick at the front there. So you've got your initial on. So all I do is pop a wee bit of glue just around the emblem like that. Pop that on and squeeze it tight like that. There you go. And there's a walking stick. Easy as that. If you want to do them with just a fancy top on, like we could do that, then all you do, you've got the glue, pop the glue on, onto the end, so you can have your fancy um, walking stick. Let me take that off a minute, sorry. Right, let me do that again. I'm going to put the glue on there and then stick that on there like that. Shave this off. Look a bit like that. Again, chop a little bit of leather. Glue the end. Do you know I'm running out? Where's the glue sticks? Come on. Take the leather. Roll that round, take any, oops. Do that again, mate. Yep. Roll that around. Take any excess off. And snip that off the end. Glue that in. Like that. Again, take hold of the paintbrush. Let me just hold that, that end. And let that dry. There's another one. Um, and then we can do this one. If we have a posh one. Pop that into there. Because all handles don't have to be bent. Do they? We know that. You can have the handle how you want it. Like that. Um, I'm just going to paint this first before I decide what I'm doing with the end. I mean, these don't have to be just brown. You can do them any colour you want. You might just want to make them into brollies or things like that, you know. So. And you could paint the end black. Um, let me just see where mine is. To make it look like it's got something on. stopper like that so 
So there's another one, fancy one. Um, and then, like I say, well, you can add the um, Joey. Shush. I don't really want to do that. No, I don't want to do that either. Let's have a look. No, I don't want to do that. I might put a bead on the end. Might work. Yeah. Going out of here, darling. Stop barking. Oops, a daisy. And then we just pop that on. Let that set. There we go. Like that. I mean, glossy accents would be better. I'm just showing you how to do these as quickly as possible. Oops. Go on, boys, out. So I can't watch what you're doing when you nick me lace. Okay, um, let's dry that one off. There we go, um, take the knife, shave that down. And then, like we say, we can. Where's my paint gone? Black, black, black. What have I done with the black? Oh, here we are. Just makes it look like you've got a stopper on the end. I can hear Raymond going, no, no. <laughs> they just look at him with sad, sad, sorry eyes and he just gives in. Worse than children. What I'm going to do with that is actually cut that like that, that's it. Dab a something on there. <laughs> they're touching everything in there. They try and pinch the fruit out of the fruit bowl because they're, they're buggers for, um, what are they like, um, what do they call it? Here's another initial I'm going to put on this one. They like pear and grapes. I know I shouldn't have them, but they do like them. Um, and they're always trying to pinch them. There we go. And that's got the initial on. Uh, and that's how you do them. They're little walking sticks. Like that. Very simple and very easy. Now the pot, we glue onto a button. And we're just using a, a thimble. So we glue a button onto that. I'm not sure that's flat. Yep. Yeah. Like that. And then we paint that. I'm going to paint this brown. And it, it can take two or three coats. I haven't got time to do that. So I'm just going to quickly do mine.
right. <laughs> This is ordinary acrylic paint I'm using. It generally paints on anything. So I'm just quickly doing this. Pop that to wash, dry that inside. Again, we can use one of these little emblems. Oh, I've made a mark there, but never mind. Just to decorate it. So we're just going to slightly bend that. Cover that up. Pop the emblem on. Just It's just for decoration, that's all. Like that. Pop the sticks oops that's not on a something flat and there you go you've got your caddy and your sticks obviously this needs painting again I will go over that um, but I would actually use a flatter button or a piece of chipboard or something like that so easy to make walking sticks and your caddy the pot to hold them in you could use um make one of the cylinders like we've just made for the golf club uh, and then make that slightly bigger to hold them but that's how i did mine yeah you'll need that because they need a proper balance let me just cut something like that let me just do this So what I'm going to do is just pop the glue on there, pop the button in the middle, that's it, just like that. Um, and then take the paintbrush and give that a lick of paint. Okay. And we can paint up the pot again. There we go. Just to darken it a little bit. You can keep giving it a coat every now and again. And uh, that should hold those much better. There we go. And that's how you do it. Oops. So I hope that's helpful. Have a go. Have fun. This is, you know, it's great to play around. Put a pearl in the end. Um, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll uh, be back shortly with some more. Bye-bye for now.